I was just channel surfing one Sunday morning and I happened to come across this strange character with these animated facial expressions, hyperventilating over President Trump's tweets, and I thought it's probably just a rerun of Saturday Night Live from the night before, but it was Brian Stelter on this weekend show nobody had ever heard of, unironically called Reliable Sources. I don't think CNN is, or any other channel right now, is, is anti-Trump. What we are seeing are journalists trying to stand up for truth and decency. And um, when President Trump gives an inspiring speech, we should and we do say so. But the problem was nobody was watching. I just found it by accident. And he had been struggling for years and literally dreaming since he was a kid of being a TV star. Uh, even when I was growing up, I was interested in being on television. I would practice and pretend to be a television anchor in the basement, uh, but... But he ended up working for CNN. Sometimes I still marvel that they allow me on television. I, uh, do you feel that my style is wrong or my substance is wrong? I, I think it's, uh, and I'm, I mean this with um, truly no disrespect, but I think you can uh, border on being sort of quite a ridiculous figure. Um, and that's really when I had the idea. Being a big YouTube star myself and a best-selling author, I felt like I needed to give back. And I decided to introduce Brian to America. And the rest is history. Brian Stelter. Every time I see him, I hear Mark Dice. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Here's that weird little guy on CNN. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal Mark Mark Dice, but you know Brian's sitting there uh, doing reliable sources. You know what? He he doesn't he doesn't respect the office at all. I just can't believe it. I'm, I'm, I've been lying in bed at night and crying. Sorry, that was my best stalter. Did my voice? Did my voice? No, it wasn't high enough. <laughs> you have to go really hard like this, like Brian. You have to go like that. Yeah, well, good job. You said it. Thank you. you. Did it. Thank you. You said you didn't. I did. You sound like <laughs> actually, you know, Mark Dice does those funny videos. Uh -huh, where he's, uh -huh. So this you kind of, that was good, man. You sound kind of like you. it. Thank you. <laughs> Little Brian Stelter is back again. There's little Brian Stelter. <laughs> CNN's Brian Stelter, that little pipsqueak. In our nation's hall monitor, Brian Stelter. He has become such a star. He's been in a Carpe Donctum video, and he was just featured in that viral video, 2020, the movie that was put out by Power Tie, another channel on YouTube that puts out funny videos and memes. He has a questionable character and questionable integrity. Um, coupled with a sort of crippling self-knowledge of his relative lack of talents. Um. He pretends that he did it all on his own and he didn't need my help, but he knows that, you know, I made him a star. I discovered little Brian. In fact, he is such a star these days that he really can't go anywhere without being hounded by his fans. How did you block Mark Dice on Twitter? Uh... Do you, uh, do you get mad at Mark Dice often? Robert Mueller, what's that? Do you get mad at Mark Dice often? I don't... Why do you block him? So, so... Why did you some, block sometimes, Mark some, uh, Sometimes I block people because they're trying to gain fame and stature uh -huh. just by making silly jokes. You know, and, and, and he is pretty jealous that Jim Acosta had a chance to meet me last year in Washington, D.C., and we hung out at the White House. But, you know, someday, you know, Brian's uh, lucky day may come. It would be great if you could find a, you know, a, a gainful career besides what you're writing right best-selling books and you're, becoming a top youtuber you're, and you know you're just being a social influencer the street, I mean, supporting the president debunking life, fake news from the clown news network down for yourself it I is fantastic say, you know. i'm living the dream jim yeah. it's amazing god has blessed me yeah, with so wow. much he is so popular these days that there is actually a brian stelter halloween costume that you could buy and if you're such a star that there's a halloween costume of you i mean you know that you've made it but he still might not get to Jim Acosta level status until the president tweets out one of my videos of him. And can you imagine the president tweeting a doctored video of him? It's gonna be his dream come true. And, and it might happen, and, and I'm not joking about this. Just last week, the president retweeted me for the first time, my comments on the situation in Portland, Oregon. So it might actually happen. 
And and now like he's trying to follow in my footsteps and thinks he's going to be a best-selling author too because he has a book coming out in about three weeks about Fox News and Sean Hannity and President Trump. And because Jim Acosta got invited on Jimmy Kimmel's show and his book came out, little Brian thinks that he's going to do like the whole late night talk show circuit. I just don't want him to get his hopes up because Jim Acosta is on prime time and Brian is a weekend host, and Jim has a White House press pass, and Brian's just stuck at a little studio all day, but we'll see what happens. You know, our friendly rivalry has gotten so well known that somebody even made this video of us engaged in a WWE style wrestling match, which, you know, of course I won. But good luck with the book, Brian. And speaking of books, I happen to have a new one coming out too. It's going to be out after years, but before the election. And I'm going to save the details for later because it's going to be a surprise. And my offer still stands. I want to bet $5,000 to a charity of your choice that my book will rise higher on Amazon's bestseller list than yours the week that it comes out. Not the New York Times bestseller list because like Jim Acosta, they're going to probably just award you with that title because you're friends. I'm talking about the Amazon bestseller list, the sales rank. Uh, so I look forward to hearing from you. My last book was number two on the Amazon bestseller list out of all books. So hopefully my fans will really come through and we can make this one number one. But until then, anyone can get my awesome merch like the classic Liberalism Find a Cure shirt, the Contains Facts and Opinions shirt, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.